Okay, this video is about section 11-7, about similar solids, okay? We'll talk about what similar solids are, um, how the ratios of lengths, areas, and volumes are related, um, and also how to use one of those um, to find um, uh, a ratio of the lengths, areas, or volumes to find a length, area, or volume when you're given one of, one of the measurements. Uh, that'll make sense when we actually do some of those problems. Okay, similar solids are very much like similar polygons, except they're solids and not polygons. Um, so they have the same shape, meaning they're both cylinders or they're both, um, you know, pentagonal prisms or they're, they're the same shape. And all the corresponding parts, all the corresponding dimensions are proportional. Okay, these two cylinders... Um, are similar because they're both cylinders and because their corresponding dimensions are proportional, okay? Now, I'm going to kind of address right here, what is the scale factor um, between these two cylinders? Like, what, what, what's the ratio between the corresponding parts? Now, um, I know a lot of students see the 6 and the 12 and the 5 and the 10 and that their brain says 1 half. Um, but we're looking at corresponding dimensions. We're looking at the 6 and the 5. We're looking at the 12 and the 10. Okay. Um, now, the scale factor will be either 6 over 5, if you're looking at going from the small one to the big one, or 5 to 6, if you think about going from the big one to the small one. Okay. Now, we could have used 10 and 12 instead of 6 and 5, except we would then need to reduce and we get the exact same fractions. So the scale factor between these are between corresponding dimensions, and it's 6 over 5 or 5 over 6. Either way is fine. Okay, um, are the two rectangular prisms similar? If so, what's the scale factor of the first figure to the second figure? Now, A, you'll look to see the corresponding part, 3 to 6. The, rate, the scale factor is 2, or doubling. 3 to 6, we're doubling. 2 to 4, we're doubling. Um, so every dimension doubled is the second one. So um, the scale factor is 2, and the answer is yes, they're similar. Okay, number 2. I'm sorry, B. 2 to 3 is a scale factor of 1.5. So 3 to 6 is not 1.5, it's 2. And so this ratio is different than this ratio, which means they're not similar. Okay? All right. So these two um, rectangular prisms, again, they're similar. Okay? The ratio of, of, I would probably say from the first second is two, but just uh, for the sake of, of this discussion, I'm going to go the other way and think about it as one half. Okay, so think about a ratio going from here um, to here. Now, there's a ratio of the lengths. Okay, this is also called the scale factor. Okay, there's a ratio between all the areas. Okay, areas meaning surface area, base area, lateral area, anything to do with an area all have the same ratio. And the ratio of volumes. Okay, meaning the volumes between the two. Okay, now the scale factor is the ratio of lengths, and that ratio is one half. We just talked about that. Okay, so anything dealing with a length, the the perimeter, the base, um, the height, the the length, the width, um, the diagonal across the middle of it, anything dealing with a length will have the ratio of one to two or one half. Okay, now lengths are a one-dimensional thing. Okay, areas are a two-dimensional thing. So um, if I take 1 squared over 2 squared, I get the ratio of 1 fourth. Okay? The ratio of areas is 1 fourth. Okay? So the, the area of the base, the lateral area, the surface area, anything dealing with an area will have a ratio of 1 to 4 or 1 fourth. Okay? The volu volumes are a three-dimensional thing. Okay, so it's going to be 1 cubed over 2 cubed. Okay, now again, you can use that caret button or, or the x to the y button on your calculator to figure that out. But um, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 
So anything dealing with a volume, now typically that's just the volume of the figure, uh, the ratio of the volumes is 1 to 8. Okay, um, the book says the exact same thing, um, slightly different. Let's just ex see that one too. If the scale factor of two similar solids is A to B, the ratio of their corresponding areas is A squared to B squared. Okay, again, areas, um, areas is a two-dimensional thing. The ratio of their volumes, a three-dimensional thing, is A cubed to B cubed. Okay, um, the square prisms at right are similar. What is the scale factor of the smaller prism to the larger prism? Now the question is, what the, what's the scale factor? Let me get rid of this so I have um, some more space. Okay. Um, lengths, areas, volumes. Okay. That just helps me keep everything organized. Now what I'm given is the ratio of the volumes. 729 over 1331. Okay, the first thing I'll do is see if I can simplify that fraction. 729 over 1331 uh, um, um, to see if there are any common factors, and there aren't any common factors. Um, so, I want to find the, the, the scale factor or the ratio of lengths. Now this will be, this is A cubed over B cubed. Right? And I want to find A over B. Okay, so what I have is something that has been cubed, and I want to go backwards, go the other way. Um, now, we know if it's squared, to go backwards, we use the square root. If it's cubed, what we'll use is what's called the cube root. Okay? Now, on the graphing calculators at school, um, there's a function called math4. Math 4 will give you this, this cube root um, thing that you can type in 729, close parenthesis, hit enter, and it will give you the cube root of that number. Now, if you're at home um, on a, a non-graphing calculator or if you use an iPod or something, um, there's usually an, an X to the X to the Y button. Um, now, you may need to kind of figure out which number comes first. I know that on, on an iPod, um, it's the number that goes inside goes first this button and then the root which will in this case will be either three or, or two okay um, so if you use that the key root of 729 is nine okay and the cube root of one three three one is eleven okay so this is the scale factor of my two rectangular prisms Okay, a slightly different question, but very much related. Um, what's the scale factor of two similar prisms with surface areas of 144 and 324? So I have lengths, areas, volumes. Okay, and what I'm given is the ratio of the areas, 144 over 324. Um, now, these will reduce because they're both even numbers. Okay. In fact, um, the number that goes into both of them is 30, let's see here. Yeah, 36. Um, so this simplifies down to be 4 over 9. Okay. Now, I don't think you actually have to do that since I think 144 and 324 also happen to be um, perfect squares. Um, but it's always a good idea to get in the habit of, of reducing things first so that when you take the square roots, it usually comes out to be a, a whole number. Okay. Um, now, once I have the ratio of the areas to go backwards, again, this is A squared over B squared. And to find A over B, I need to go backwards. So I need to take the square root of 4 and 9. Now, the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. And so I get 2 thirds is um, the scale factor. All right, uh, I'm going to come back to this problem. Whoops. Okay. 
Um, the volumes of two similar solids are 128 and f um, 250. The surface area of the larger solid is 250. What is the surface area of the smaller solid? Okay, so I have length, I have areas, I have volumes. Okay, so the volumes of two solids are 128 and 250. Okay, now these are both even numbers, so I will simplify as much as I can. Um, divide both by 2, I get 64 over 125. Okay, and that's all the common factors we have. Now, I need to know the ratio of the area since I'm given an area. Okay, but I can't go directly from volumes to areas, um, at least not very easily. So I'll go from volumes to length by taking cube roots. So the cube root of 64 is 4, and the cube root of 125 is 5. Okay, now once I have the ratio of the lengths, I can then square them and get the ratio of the areas, 16 over um, 25. Okay, this ratio is exactly what I need to answer this question. Okay, they give me the, the larger solid has a ratio, has, an, um, sur has a surface area of 250. So 16 over 25 is equal to, um, let's see, the larger one, so it goes with the bigger number, 250x. And I cross multiply. 16 times 250 is 4,000 is equal to 25x. Divide both sides by 25, and I get x to be equal to 160 meters squared. Okay, um, we could do this one about the paint. The numbers get pretty messy. Um, and just for the sake of clarity and time, um, I'm not going to worry about doing this one. Um, this video was about similar solids, what they are, um, how the, the ratios of lengths, areas, and volumes are related, how you use one to find the others um, by either squaring or cubing or cube rooting or, or, or square rooting, um, how to use the, the ratios to, to find other lengths, areas, or volumes.